Most of us go about our busy day blissfully unaware of the technology standards that make all of it possible. Take the IEEE 802.3 standard Ethernet. For a lot of people, it's just the wire that plugs into their computer, something IT talks about. But Ethernet is in a lot more places than that. For instance, without it, your smartphone wouldn't be very smart. All of the web services it uses would disappear. Maps, Yelp, Facebook, Twitter, and you'd be left with just a phone. Your car's data services, like maps and traffic, gone. Even our power infrastructure uses Ethernet to help it work every day. Of course, your routers, switches, and other network devices could still be on, thanks to power over Ethernet. Yes, its implementation permeates all that, plus medical devices, banking, avionics, robotics, emerging audiovisual connections, new types of hard drive storage, even the International Space Station uses Ethernet. Even though most people don't think about it, Ethernet and new uses for it are expanding, touching more and more of our lives every day. That's why there's such a demand for qualified engineers to invent, develop, and implement new Ethernet innovations. In fact, the IEEE Standards Association, the group that oversees the IEEE 802.3 Ethernet standard, wants everyone, engineers and inventors, to work with them and become part of this future. Recently, they held a worldwide contest to find new ideas for Ethernet, and you know who won? It's Mario Ailman, and his idea involves the use of Ethernet to enable high-speed access in remote population centers, places that would otherwise not be able to afford them. Mario's idea uses Ethernet via fiber links to backhaul the data generated by high-speed wireless service. These 5 GHz outdoor access points can cover a very wide area and connect the citizens they serve through many different types of devices and services that are then connected to the network via these fiber links. Now, using Ethernet for telecommunications backhaul isn't new, but this implementation with wireless reduces the cost substantially compared to other transport modes, putting it within reach of many otherwise isolated communities. This idea is already being deployed in places like Chiriqui, Panama, where this antenna array serves that community today. By bringing the benefits of internet access and other high-speed communication services within reach of these communities, this idea can help the people in those regions enjoy the social, educational, and economic advantages that it brings. To find out more about the work of the IEEE Standards Association and the entire family of IEEE 802 working groups, and how you can be a part of the global evolution of Ethernet, come see us at standards.ieee.org.